you want this is Matt uh, if you're listening to this or watching this for the first time uh, I am the host of the Blue Room podcast uh, I'd just like to thank everyone for coming and watching this um, this is going to be something I'm going to be doing pretty much every day um, video for the YouTube site and we're going to hopefully sort of look at some of the stories that are revolving around Everton in these difficult times and look at the content that we're putting out here on the YouTube and on our Patreon channel and on our usual feeds as well. So we're going to be doing a lot of different things here on the channel. And first of all, I'd like to thank everybody for their support they've given us over the last few weeks in regards to listening to us and interacting with us, even though we haven't got a lot of football going on at the moment, of course. It's been really appreciated. It's been great speaking to a lot of people. It's going to be great having a lot more of you involved in the shows as well going forward. So that's one positive that can come out of these difficult situations. I'm not going to ramble on too much on these videos or go into too much detail. Just sort of going to go over some of the stories that are in the news. And like I said, look at some of the content over the course of the next few days. Um, one of the, the main things that's been doing the rounds over the last few days is the transfer story. I'm sure a lot of people have seen it. Um, Gianluigi Donnarumma, the AC Milan goalkeeper, the young AC Milan goalkeeper, of course, considered a major prodigy um, when he first burst onto the scene as a 16-year-old at AC Milan. It's been linked to Everton. Um, Phil Kirkbride in the Liverpool Echo has done a report subsequently saying that Everton don't want him. And Carlo Angelotti's happy with Jordan Pickford, of course. Um, Jordan had a bit of a tough time, didn't he, before the football got cancelled over the last few weeks. And it would have been really interesting to see actually how he would have done um, over the last few weeks of the campaign. He had a really good game against Chelsea in that forgetful 4 0 loss. Um, he would have had a lot of pressure on him going ahead of the Euros. He's got Dean Henderson breathing down his neck. But, you know. There's been a lot of debate about whether Everton should be looking for a new goalkeeper in the summer. Uh, Donnarumma hasn't really kicked on as much as a lot of people thought he would have. AC Milan had some tough times at a club that have also gone through a bit of a tough spell themselves. So let us know what you think. Do you think he would be somebody you'd like to see Everton target in the summer? Is Jordan Pickford doing all right? Maybe been getting a bit of a bit of a hard time from some supporters, maybe myself included. Anyone who listens to our show and I've been critical of him recently. Um, Carlo Angelotti might have a big decision to make there in regards to it as well. Um, another interesting piece that, that caught my eye over the last couple of days was, from the, again, from the Liverpool Echo, uh, it's from Dave Prentice and Sam Carroll, and they look at Everton's worst 25-man squad of the Premier League era. Um, and it doesn't make for great reading, to be honest. Uh, the goalkeepers, Espen Barton, Sander Westerveld, Richard Wright, uh, some defenders that were included, Mark Hottinger, Kuto, Kuko Martina, Per Kroldrup, uh, Antolin Alcaraz, oh, the list goes on and on and on, doesn't it? Uh, wingers, Andy van der Meide and Aidan McGeady, what a duo they could have been. Magai Gay and David Ginola. Uh, Magai Gay, a little bit harsh on him, perhaps. Uh, got a few games, enough runs, so there's plenty to choose from there. In Brett Angel, Sandra Ramirez, Lucina Traore, anyone who listens to our season show, uh, sorry, our 11 show over on the Blue Room Extra, will know that Mike Diaccio is not particularly happy with that. Um, so let's know what you think about that as well. I'll put the link in the description. Um, any other shouts for the worst Everton at squad of, of the decade, uh, do, let, do let us know. Um, there's going to be a lot of that sort of stuff going on over the next few weeks. Um, yeah, any other stories that have caught your eye, let us know. Anything you want to hear me talk about on here over the next few weeks, do let us know as well. Just a little shout as to what we've got coming up over on the Blue Room Extra on Patreon at the moment. Um, we've had our first ever season show go out, um, which is effectively going to be a show where we look back at memorable campaigns from Everton's history and not necessarily ones which they've done well in although the first one is just interesting campaigns where a lot of maybe crazy things happen a lot of interesting stories to tell and we're going to speak to the people who lived and breathed those campaigns so the first one it's going to be 25 years can you believe since Everton won the 1995 FA Cup of course that season started in terrible fashion with Mike Walker in charge of the team being bottom of the Premier League and Joe Royal taking over and turning Everton's fortunes around and winning the FA Cup final against Manchester United ultimately ended that campaign. Um, so we spoke to Joe, uh, Dave Downey had a chat with Joe Royal um, about that season. And we also spoke to Dave Prentice, who's the chief football reporter from the Liverpool Echo. What do you mention, Dave? There should be given a bit, of, a bit of commission for this, perhaps. Uh, and Gav Buckland, who's been on our shows before, Everton's official statistician uh, and all around fantastic encyclopedic Everton knowledge. Um, so it was fascinating to hear those lads talk back through that season. We've also got some great commentary on there from the Radio City Archives as well. Um, there's a lot of great memories on there. I particularly love the commentary, uh, Graham Beacock's commentary for the, the final goal and the way he screams, it's hit the bar. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, do go and listen to that. 
It's going to stay a lot of memories. Should make everyone feel a lot more upbeat in, the, in these testing times. And also going out today, which is Tuesday, I've just uploaded it and put it out now. Uh, we had an absolute riot recording it last night. It was the final episode of season one of Elevens. Uh, it was myself, um, Jack Carlisle, who hosted the show, um, Mike Diascia and Mark Mosey. And for anyone who's not effectively aware of, the, of that show, what we do on it, we basically, well, the host, uh, this, in this case, Jack, picks a category or picks an attribute. And the other contributors have got to pick an 11 based on that attribute uh, from former Everton players. Uh, so far, we've had the One Season Wonder 11. We've had the Everton That 11. We've had the Limbs 11 for players who have you know, triggered the best Limbs moments, if you will. And the selection from Jack last night was the Disappointments 11. So the players that have left you most, not angry, but disappointed. As, as an Everton supporter, um, and we went through. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. It's absolutely hilarious. She had some great laughs. We've had some fantastic laughs recording these shows as well. And there's a series champion crowned as well going into it. I had won one. Mosey had won one. Um, I'd, no, Mosey had won two. Mosey had won two. Sorry, he'd won two going into this one. I'd won one. Mike, I didn't won any. Yeah, uh, could he potentially get himself on the scoreboard? But effectively, um, Mark, if, if I didn't win, Mark was the series champion. So it was, it was a great... Great uh, hour and 15 minutes or so. We really enjoyed it. And hopefully you can get involved in it too. Um, so yeah, that's it from me. I just want to reiterate to everybody out there who continues to watch our stuff, continues to subscribe to our content. It is really appreciated in these tough times. And as me and Dave have reiterated on the shows so much over the last few weeks, um, if you want to speak to us, if you want to get involved in the show, if you want to have a chat about the toffees, our DMs are always open. The comments are always there. Uh, let us know. Um, I think it's more important now more than ever that we stay connected. I think stuff like this, stuff like audio, stuff like radio is really important during these testing times. So stay safe out there, up the toffees. Let me know what you want to hear me talk about in these, these daily videos I'm going to be doing. And uh, I'll speak to you soon here on The Blue Room.